Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm going to be doing another Piggy Pearl Pour tonight, and uh, I've, had, I've done several of these, and recently um, I had uh, several people comment that um, they had never mixed pigments before, and they were a little nervous about it. So I thought I would do a mixing video um, and let you guys see how, see my process and show you how really easy this is. And um, so just as a reminder, this is what uh, the Piggy Pearl uh, looks like. Um, it's, a, it's a way of using, uh, getting uh, pearl cells using this little piggy pigments. Uh, this one is, um, I, I mixed with Mermaid. And you can see that um, when you go through this process, it does lighten the tone of this pigment a bit because I'll be mixing it with Vallejo Pearl Medium, which makes it into more of a pastel. So uh, it is still blue and it is still vibrant, but it is uh, um, not as bright as what's in the container. So the colors that I'll be using tonight are Sapphire and Sangria, again by this little piggy pigment. And um, I will be using, mixing it, uh, dispersing them in uh, Liquitex Pouring Medium. I, I've also used um, GAC 800. Both of them have really strong binders and that's what you need for a pigment. In order to turn this into a paint, it needs to be um, bonded together. So uh, I'll be using Liquitex and, and the Vallejo Pearl Medium and some American Flood Floetrol. And some of the products I'll be using is a, um, a kitchen scale. You can see that I've had this for years and it's very messy, but it still works just perfectly. Uh, I have two different kinds of stir sticks that I'll be using. Uh, I love these stir sticks from Fluid Art Co., especially these because they have a kind of flexible tip, so it's really easy to mix, and, and you can scrape the sides really easy, and you can get right down into the corners and make sure those uh, pigments are really dispersed into the liquids. Uh, but when I move into um, a larger volume, I like to use uh, the larger paddles because it's easier to move the, the, uh, the mix around. Um, I'll also use, be using this uh, kitchen strainer for my Flood Floetrol. Flood Floetrol um, does not have strong binders in it, which is why we have to use the, the um, GAC 800 or the Liquitex pouring medium. Uh, but it does make your paint self-level. Um, I always think of this as, like, I, I, I like to bake also, so I think of this as like adding an egg. It binds everything together, and this is like adding milk. It makes everything smooth and creamy. But uh, Flood Flow Troll, as it sits inside the container, it uh, creates a little film on top that kind of dries, and you should always mix your, uh, or, or shake it up. Um, and when you do that, that um, dry bit kind of mixes in and becomes like, I call them goobers, little stringy, slimy bits that if you don't strain them out will ruin your, your acrylic pour. Um, I also just to, wanted to show everyone, I want a thin consistency here so I will not be using this, but you can use a gel medium to thicken up this recipe so that you could use this in just about any kind of pour that you want. In fact, you could use this to do a cloud pour. Um, this gel medium is from TriArt. I also got that from Fluid Art Co. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it is super, super thick. So you can see that I opened it up and it doesn't move at all. It's, uh, it's uh, really good for thickening up uh, a thin consistency paint. So um, I will go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the sangria. And the first thing I'm going to do is put my empty cup on my kitchen strainer and uh, press on. Uh, and that will, um, the kitchen strainer will think that. It's starting from zero, this is part of the weight. So if I remove that, it says uh, minus 0.2 ounces. So if I put it back on, now it says zero. Uh, so you always start with your empty cup on the, the kitchen scale before you turn it on. Um, you'll see that I've used this before, so uh, there's not a lot in here. I'm gonna be very careful because I am not wearing a mask and these pigments can really float through the air and you can breathe it in and it's not good. I normally do wear a mask when I do this, but you wouldn't be able to understand me, so I'm gonna be very, very careful. I'm just gonna um, get all of those pigments down together and then very carefully using this, um, this little uh, stir stick here, I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna carefully drop it down into the bottom and I'm gonna get all of that pigment out. 
or as much of it as I can without it puffing up in the air. These pigments are very, very light. So my kitchen scale still says zero. So we don't need to mix up a lot of this in order to get a great result. Okay, that's everything that's in there. Uh, and now I'm going to add in my wetting agent. So we disperse our pigments in something very, very fluid, and that's this Liquitex gloss pouring medium. So I'm going to pour in about half an ounce. So I, I squeeze my cup to get a little pour spout, and I watch my scale until it says 0.5. Going very slowly, there we go. And let's see if you can see that. So now I'm just gonna take my paddle here and stir it very slowly at first because I don't want those pigments to float up into the air. I want them to um, stick to the wet surface. And once I see no, that there's no more dry stuff, then I can start really mixing that together. And this is, uh, creates what I believe they call a slurry. So I can use my stir stick to really push all of that, those pigments down, make sure they get really well bonded with that pouring medium. And I'm just gonna keep stirring until I see no more tiny little lumps and it becomes kind of a very fluid consistency. I don't know if you can see that. Let me come around to the other side of the camera. Very, very fluid. I see no more dryness in the cup. And these little stir sticks are so great for scraping the sides and getting into those corners. Sorry if that my camera does not want to focus when I'm this close. It does take a little bit of patience to really mix all of that in. But now this is ready for the pouring medium. I'm going to put it back on my scale so I can keep track and take the stir stick out so it doesn't change my volumes. And now we're going to put in our Vallejo Pearl Medium. So I have 0.5 ounces of uh, this little piggy and uh, gloss pouring medium. So I'm going to pour in an equal amount of this. So I'm just gonna empty this in until I get to one full ounce. There we go. I'm gonna use the same stir stick and I'm gonna combine all of that together. And do you see that it's taken that really vibrant color and it's made it into a pearl pink color? and you really want to stir this together. That Vallejo Pearl Medium is pretty thick, so it takes a minute for all of those things to combine. And because it's so thick, that's why you, uh, you need the thinner binder, the GAC 800 or the pouring medium. You need something really thin to mix the pigments, and then you can add thicker things. Again, just like when you're baking, you can't um, change consistencies too frequently or you end up with lots of lumps. And we don't want lumps. So I'm, right now I'm just really getting into those corners and getting all of that pigment dispersed into my full mix. I do that several times, scraping down the sides and in the corners. There we go. And now I'm ready to add my flow trawl. So I'm gonna use this larger cup and I'm going to take this off. So I have one full ounce of mixed pigment and now I need two parts Floetrol. So I'm gonna do two ounces of Floetrol and I'm just gonna put it in like this and I'm gonna watch my scale. two ounces. There we go. 
I'm gonna rinse it off real quick so it doesn't dry in there. Okay, now we're ready to add our pigment in, or our Floetrol in. So I'm just gonna take this and pour it directly in until I see three ounces. There we go. Combine all of those elements together. Scrape down our sides. And now, this is, there's something very satisfying about knowing that, not that just that you're making art, but you're actually making paint too. Isn't that fun? So you can see that this is a, um, it's changed colors from this wine red to a very uh, milky pink color. Um, this will dry somewhere in between these colors. So it doesn't show the true dry color when you first mix it up. But that is ready to go. So now let's do the sapphire. Let's see what color we come up with when we do this. I might do a slightly larger volume this time. Ooh, that kind of exploded on me a little bit. Be careful. I'm gonna make a larger amount this time. Let's do two full dumps of that. Oof. This is why you wear a mask. You see that? And look at my hands. That pigment goes everywhere. Hmm. Hold on a sec. I am so messy. <laughs> I think I could give Lisa Marvin a run for her money. Everybody calls her messy Marvin, but I think I'm just as messy. Okay, so with that in there, now this says 0.15, so I've used uh, quite a bit more pigment this time, so I'm gonna use quite a bit more of my bonding agent, which is the Liquitex pouring medium. So, I'm gonna pour this in slowly. And I'm gonna get closer to, I think one and a half. That was a lot. There we go. Pretty. That's gonna be pretty when we mix the uh, the pearl medium into it too. Since there's a larger volume there, I see uh, a lot more lumps. So I'm just gonna keep mixing until I see no lumps whatsoever. Ooh, I'm gonna like this color. I love blues, especially darker blues, but all of them. Okay, that's better. I see no, it's nice and fluid. I see no lumps. I see a couple of air bubbles, but that will come out very quickly because it's a thin consistency. So we're gonna scrape down our sides, get that pigment pushed down in. And then we're gonna scrape the corners and make sure there's no dry pigment anywhere in this cup. we go and now we're at one and a half ounces so we're gonna put one and a half ounces 
of Vallejo Pearl Medium. So this should read three ounces when I'm done. And there we go. And again, we stir, stir, stir. into those corners there to make sure I get everything incorporated. Okay, isn't that pretty? Look how thick that is too. Nice, okay, now let's um, do some uh, Floetrol. So this is three ounces, I need two parts Floetrol, so I need at least six ounces. So I'm just gonna pour a bit in here. If you're wondering why I'm doing this in a separate cup, um, it's because I want my measurements to be exact. So rather than pour directly from this into there, I can control it better if it's coming from this cup rather than from the big jug or container. Let's rinse that off again. Okay, so we need six ounces So we need six ounces added to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it directly in until this reads nine ounces. Oh, I hope I have a big, big enough cup. Ooh, it's gonna go right to the top. Nine ounces, there we go. I should've used a bigger cup. Okay, these little stir sticks are very difficult to move larger volumes of paint. So this is where I switch to the bigger paddle. There we go. And again, we just stir, stir, stir. And try not to make too big of a mess. I'm going over the edge of it. Oh, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna use that paddle to get right down into those corners again. I'm scraping the sides as I go also. Very nice. Now this is just a little too thick for the Piggy Pearl recipe. So we're gonna add just a slight amount of water this leaves, this is leaving a mound and a mound and a mound. I just want a mound. I don't want it to stack on top of each other. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water here, like that. It doesn't take much. And I always add just a couple of drops at a time. Get that nice and incorporated. And check the consistency, still stacks. So we're gonna add just a little bit more. It's a nice steely blue color right now, but it will go back closer to the sapphire color when it dries. Mm. Still a little thick. I need a different size cup. That 
bigger. No. See, this is why my <laughs> my kitchen scale is so messy. All right, put this here. Put this right down in here. There we go. This is gonna be easier. I guess I should have done a dry run on this before I had started filming. But hopefully there's some good information for you here anyway. I'm gonna scrape that all up. There we go, set that off to the side. Get this out of the way. It's closer. I want just a little more water in there. Perfect. That stacks just a little bit, but it disappears very quickly. So that is the great, a great consistency. Now let's look at this one, because I think this one's still gonna be too thick also. Yep, but not not as bad, so maybe just a little tiny bit. There we go, that's probably enough. I do want to add a little bit of water because these, the pearl medium and the pigments, both have mica flakes in them. Um, and mica likes to float to the top of water. It's, it's lighter than water, so a little bit of water always helps the, the reaction happen. There we go. So we have made two Piggy Pearl uh, paints. We made paint! How exciting is that? Okay, so I'm going to use both of these colors in a painting right now. Caught behind the Venetian blind how to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I thought was gone Sitting in my pocket In plain sight All alone I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Have a toast for those lost old eyes. 